there's a psychiatrist who is just examining the work of Jesus. And just as, as we look at the, the, the clearness, the clarity of Jesus as God, the psychiatrist was examining the, the, the works of Jesus, the teachings of Jesus, and just the depth of the teaching. And the, and the psychiatrist made this statement. They said, if you were to take the collective teachings of all the psychiatrists and all the psychologists and all of history, and then you were to clean it up and have it written by the most beautiful poets of the world, you would have an awkward and incomplete summary of the Sermon of the Mount. So the psychiatrist said this, if you took all of the best psychiatrists and psychologists and said, what, what is the essential teaching that you've written throughout all of the centuries of human history that we know? If you took the best teaching of all of these psychiatrists, all these psychologists, and then you were to have all of that joined together and written by the most beautiful poets the world's ever produced, then what you'd have is a very awkward and incomplete teaching of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. But then they said this, for nearly 2,000 years, the Christian world has been holding in its hands the complete answer to its restless and fruitless yearnings. Here rests the blueprints for successful human life with optimism, mental health, and contentment. They said, when we examine the teachings of Jesus, whether believe or not, we examine the teaching of Jesus. His teaching is so profound, so different, that the best human minds thought all of the history combined with the most creative human minds can't create what he created. Why? Because he was God incarnate, God in the flesh. And humans can do incredible things, but they say all of that pales in comparison to what Jesus did. Why? Because Jesus was and is fully God. And that teaching is essential to not just our understanding of, of Christianity, but it's ultimately essential to our understanding of what faith is all about. He who is God actually became man for us. He was already God. He became man to be a sacrifice in our stead. 